Okay, everyone, on to part seven of this set of tutorials, the HD version of these Adobe Dreamweaver CS4 basic tutorials. Um, just a quick review. We have uh, spent the previous six episodes going through the process of starting a website from scratch. We've got a root, root folder built, root directory built, um, with a bunch of files in there that we think we're going to need. We've done a little planning. Uh, we have been designing our uh, mock-up page here where we have our mock-up of how we would like uh, our website to be structured. Now we've used uh, tables to do that <coughs> in this set of tutorials. We're going to use tables to do most of our layout work. Uh, of course, a lot of you uh, have heard of CSS or might know a lot about CSS, and in uh, the fu a future set of tutorials, we'll be using CSS to be doing um, most of the layout. So uh, this is intended to be a, a set of tutorials for beginners who are just getting started, so tables are a good, a good place to start. Anyway, um, in this tutorial, I'm going to go through the process now of creating a template from our layout because the template is the next uh, tool that we're going to be we, we want to use to make our e website easier to create and easy to manage. So, uh, a tutorial does I mean a template does two basic things or two big things. Um, first, a template will allow us to get our structure or our layout onto all of our current pages, which are currently blank, and any new pages that we create later. So we can quickly have our website, um, all the pages within our website look the same. Okay, so that's its first job is to get our layout. So we don't have to create this layout on every page. Uh, the next thing it does, it allows us to uh, update the parts of our layout that we want to be the same across all the pages. So those are the two big things. All right. So um, all I've got to do to take, I've got, I'm on my mockup.html page. You can see across the top here. All I need to do to get uh, to turn this into a template is to save it as a template. So under the file menu here, if we go down about halfway down on that menu, we've got save as template. So I'm just going to select that, and it wants to know what I want to name it. So I might just name this my main template and um, when I do this Dreamweaver on its own is going to make a copy of this mockup.html file save it as a template and name it main template and the extension will be DWT and let me just click save here and update the links yes okay so now across the top you can see I'm on a different page Dreamweaver took that copy of the mockup.html that was open and saved it as what I named it, main template, and then added this extension .dwt, which just stands for Dreamweaver template. And then over here in my root folder, uh, you can see Dreamweaver has, let me just close up some of these that I don't need to have open right now. <coughs> Dreamweaver created a new folder called templates, and inside of that folder, it saved my DWT. Now I need to be careful about this because um, I'm not going to ever rename that folder, or I'm not going to ever move it, because then the template will cease to, to function as it's intended. <clears throat> okay, so now I've got this template. It's the one that's opened here. And if I were to apply this template uh, to one of my blank pages, uh, it would look exactly like the template, but the problem would be is that I wouldn't be able to change anything, because right now it's set up so the template is going to control all my regions um, and it's going to make them the same on every page which is mostly what I want but I need a region on each page that I can put different things in or a um, an editable portion of the page uh, that I can control on each individual page okay so that's called an editable region and I need to add um, at least one of those in and I might add a couple because I think on each one of my pages, I'm going to have a different submenu, or I might have a different submenu on each page. So over here, where I've added this text, I'm going to insert uh, an editable region. So I'm going to highlight what's there, and go up here to the Insert menu, and about three quarters of the way down to Template Objects, and you'll see um, the choice here is to insert an editable region. And it wants me to name it Edit Region 3, uh, or to, I could change that if I wanted to. I'm just going to leave it named that, say OK. And you can see um, I get this little box over here with a little blue border and a little tab that tells me the name of that region. 
So the template will no longer control that. And we'll kind of, as we go along, hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense here. Um, so don't worry too much right now. And then I'm going to highlight everything over here. And I'm going to put an editable region there as well. So insert, template object, and editable region. And that'll be edit region number four. And I'll just leave that name. OK, so now I've got these two editable regions. Um, and what that basically means is, uh, when I apply this template to one of my blank pages, um, though I will be able to put, I'll be able to edit what's inside of these these blue areas. I can put more stuff inside of there, the stuff, the content for that specific page. But this area outside, all this rest of the stuff, my banner, my main menu, my main layout, the footer, the background, all of that's going to be the same, and it's going to be locked on those individual pages, so I won't be able to change it. And if I did want to change it, I would come back here to the template, make the change on the template, and then it would update all those pages. Okay, so now the template's created. I'm going to save that. Uh, and in the next tutorial, we'll go through the process, or the next episode, I'm going to go through the process of applying this template to my blank pages.